What an exciting day for us here, Robert, as we get to see the best of the best in flag football on this field right here. And NFL Flag has really made an initiative to make sure that football is inclusive for all. We're going to get to watch that at the highest level behind us now. No doubt about it. And inclusivity is the big word there. You're going to see boys teams, girls teams, co-ed teams come out here and play a game that is inexpensive and also fun. But it's not just a bridge to tackle football anymore. Flag football is now a sanctioned college sport, so it's a bridge to college. For these young women you see today, they are out there playing for a scholarship. Yeah, and some of them already have those opportunities. We'll get you updated on all that. This weekend, over 1,500 youth athletes participated in the NFL Flag Championships at the Pro Bowl Games. Teams from across the country and even internationally competed for a chance to be crowned national champions in 11 different age divisions. And today's 17U Girls Championship game features the Apex Predators, the local team from Las Vegas, who advanced in their semifinal matchup after a 13-7 win yesterday. Their opponents are the defending champs from Panama, the L. FFL 507 Devils. Angeline Bunting scored the only touchdown in a tough semifinal matchup to keep their repeat dreams alive. That's who you'll see out on this field in just moments. And just in case you're wondering, the exact rules to keep an eye on here. 10-minute halves in flag football. It's a running clock. Each team has four plays to cross midfield and get a first down, then only three more plays to score. No fumbles, no blocking. Each team receives one 30-second timeout pregame and as we see these ladies take the field, Robert, I'm just thinking about what it means to them. They've had to go through regionals and all kinds of contests to get to this point to be on this type of stage. Yeah, it's a big time opportunity for them. Both of these teams have lost a game in pool play, but have come on strong down the stretch to upset some teams to get to this point. All right, we see the 507 Devils with the ball first. And that's a catch from And Andrea Castillo, who she has been so dynamic and reliable for them at quarterback. Of course, you see Laura Restrepo. Yes, talk about Castillo. She's one of the members from last year's championship team coming back to get some more gold. Nice catch again from Castillo. And here's our players to watch on both sides, Robert. Yes, you talk about the players to watch. Macy Johnson and Marley Spielberg, both of them are playing for the Apex Predators and are, are on the U.S. national team for 17 under flag football. And then you've got Anna Vincenzini and Andrea Castillo. Obviously, we talked about Castillo being on the team last year that won from Panama, and also Anna is on that team, was on that team as well. The 507 Devils making quick work of this is Angeline Bunting with a nice catch there to get them into scoring range. They'll be able to go for from the five yard line for one point from the t from the 10 yard for two. But that was a great catch on the run. Yeah, you see the full extension right there using the hands to get the, the ball in there. Angeline Bunting showing out out here for the fans. She had the game winning catch for them yesterday, too. I like the way that they've orchestrated this offense, getting easy, quick completions. You can't go broke taking a profit. Alejandra Sucre there. And another reminder, when they get inside those no run zone areas that you see on the field, that means they have to pass, right? You're circling them there for me, Robert, and thanks for that. So we'll see another throw there. Ooh, Ooh, almost a pick by Lily Mayo. If you didn't notice, Lily Mayo is 5'10". She's a giant out there right there. You got to get a little more loft on that football if you're going to try to get it over her as she knocks that touchdown, potential touchdown down in the end zone. So here we go with the Apex Predators, their first opportunity. Devin Patman there able to that one and what you'll see from the apex predators is they're going to huddle between each play because their quarterback macy johnson isn't their normal quarterback she usually plays wide receiver but now they've got her out here at the quarterback position they want to make sure everybody's on the same page when they run these plays the head coach of the predators todd thompson on the devil's side it's jack reed todd said they're going to be methodical today robert yeah i don't blame them when you have a wide receiver playing quarterback, you know, it's kind of like the 49ers in that playoff game. <laughs> we saw you wanna, it. You want to make sure everything's clicking and that everybody knows what they have to do. But Macy's got a big arm, so look for her to take some shots down the field. Ooh, intercepted right there by Ana Murillo. 
So that's a mistake that they're making early there from the Apex Predators. They also don't have the experience on this stage that you would see from the 507 Devils. Yeah, you see right there, Ana Murillo goes up and high points the ball. Cheese McKinnis, number six for the Apex Predators, just wasn't able to knock it down. And there we see a touchdown catch from Anna Vincenzini. Quick work there by the 507 Devils to capitalize on the mistake from the Predators. Touchdown for them. And you see Anna Vincenzini, she throws the hand up. She's like, I'm open. <laughs> and then they don't get the flag there. And of course, we got a little confetti on the field, people. That's a touchdown. Now they're going to go for one from the five-yard line. Oh, so just so everyone knows, they go for one there. That would have been the extra point. They didn't get it. So the score now six to nothing with the Apex Predators in the lead. And if you notice on those first two drives for the 507 Devils, Andrea Castillo and Anna Vincenzini, the two players who were on the championship team last year, making big time plays. No good there to So we're seeing a call there from the official. Not a legal sure rush that is. on the defense. The five yard penalty. First down. Oh, oh a legal rush. So remember, got to keep an eye on that. And it, those rushes happen fast from the defenses in flag football. Oh, high snap. Now, Laura, the one thing, because wherever that ball drops, it is dead. So because that high snap went into the end zone, you heard the ref right there rule it as a safety. Mm. And that's been a problem for the Apex Predators throughout pool play, these high snaps from the center as we watch some of the games this weekend. Yeah, a reminder that the Apex Predators are the local team in Las Vegas, the 507 Devils, the defending champs. And there's a catch from Alexandra Sucre. You know, these two teams actually played in pool play, and the 507 Devils won that game 20-13. to 13. And the one thing that head coach Todd Thompson of the Predators said about the Devils was they don't make mistakes, they don't hurt themselves. Right now, the Predators are constantly stepping on their own foot. You saw there, no catch with Angeline Bunting. It's interesting, too, because one of the options that these teams have when they get into the no-run zone, which we'll see if they can get there, is they can actually have the ball handed off again to the quarterback. The quarterback <laughs> then could make plays, and you can see some things get creative there. Ooh. That's a catch by Andrea Castillo. Laura Restrepo, the quarterback. We'll see that one again, Robert. Oh, yeah. Talk about a nice throw. Great vision right there by the receiver to look that in. Right now, the 507 Devils are hitting them high, hitting them low. Anything they want is out there for them. There's the first down, of course, well into scoring range, and they now have three plays to score a touchdown. Angeline Bunting comes down with another nice catch. She's been so reliable, even as recently as yesterday for this team. I mean, did you see that throw right there by Laura Restrepo? Under duress, gets it over the, the blitzing defender's arms right into the hands of Bunton. Again, J.J. Howes with the rush there. Interesting story, the Laura, flag, about, yeah. about J.J. Howes. She actually chopped her finger off and it grew back. I've I never, know that doesn't sound real. That's a real thing. I've never heard of anything like that in my <laughs> life, She guys, said but. her favorite NFL player is Julian Edelman. I, I, I'm not sure which finger it is. We'll try to figure that out. Hey, by the way, this year, in addition to the teams from the United States, flag football teams from eight countries also made the trip to Las Vegas to compete in the international division at the NFL Flag Championships, demonstrating the growth of the game around the world. And we're certainly seeing that here. It's an initiative from NFL Flag. And these ladies are competing on the biggest stage under the brightest lights. Another culmination of that, but internationally, a ton of growth. You know, to get back to that story about J.J. Howes, we're not sure which finger it is that she chopped off and it grew back, but I'm pretty sure it helped her <laughs> grab that flag. So it's all working out for her right now. 
She goes by JJ. So again, right now you see the 507 Devils with an 8-0 lead. Oh, Cheese McKinnis comes down with it right there. She, with a huge opportunity there as the Devils were trying to add on. She says, nope, not so fast. Yeah, Cheese McKinnis going up, getting the ball. Look at her right here. Her eyes are like, oh my gosh, she threw me an easy one. So now, quick change of possession here. Marley Spielberg. You see him communicating out there too. It's not extremely loud, but it's probably a little louder than some of the fields that they're on because they're in this type of situation. Yes, Lauren, this is a big moment. So they want to make sure they don't allow defenders to get, or offensive players to get behind mm -hmm. them. They know that the Predators love to throw the ball deep. Oh. Intended for Cheese McKinnis. And she's Cheese because she's a Packers fan. <laughs> she literally <laughs> wants to go by Cheese. This is an amazing nickname. And I love it. In true wide receiver fashion, you're seeing Macy Johnson, who her coach said is the best receiver in the country, forced into playing quarterback right now. She loves to throw the ball deep because what do receivers like to do? Catch the ball deep. <laughs> She's probably wishing she could run out there and catch one, too. Oh, flag. The flag pulled there by Marianne Torero. We'll see that again. You know, sometimes... At quarterback, you're trying to evade all these defenders. Sometimes you've got to get the ball out. And as you keep mentioning, Robert, it's, it's worth pointing out that it's not the usual position for a quarterback. So she may not have the awareness that you normally would if you're in that position. She is one of the best receivers in this game. Yes, she is. And obviously the Predators decided to punt right there because they, you know, fourth down, weren't going to be able to get the first down towards midfield, and they give it right back to the 507 Devils, who continue to just attack this defense with short passes. Angeline Bunting once again with catch, but is there a flag pull? Nope. Uh oh. A little timeout action. And really, when you look at what the Devils are doing, Laura. If you want to get real granular with it. Let's do it. All right. They're using for formation variation, attacking the entire field. We've seen them go from tight bunch, looking at, at traditional spread concepts here on the field, and they're making the defense guess every single time they run a concept. Remember it's not the, the same thing. Yeah. Remember the uh, Apex Predators are coming in here as the team that doesn't have as much experience. You saw Jack Reed there for the other team, but... For the Predators, Todd Thompson was also just talking to his squad and saying, let's just settle in a little bit here. We're good. Your Predators are in purple, and the 507 Devils, the defending champs, are in white. Yeah, if you're... All right, we've got more coming your way from the Flag Football Championship. 17U girls will be right back after this short break. you're with us in Las Vegas. The NFL Flag Championships, the 17 U girls featuring the Apex Predators and the LFFL 507 Devils. Of course, the Predators trying to make something happen here with the ball to start the second half. That was Lily Mayo with the catch and Robert Griffin III here with me. I'm Laura Rutledge. What halftime adjustments do you want to see, especially from the 507 Devils who want to make something happen here? Yeah, the 507 Devils are definitely trying to expand upon their lead, but for the Predators, you got to take a book uh, out of out of the devil's page because or page out of the devil's book. Oh, here we go. A little action, a little running. Quarterback Macy Johnsich with a nice run there. Because what you saw them do on the first play was an easy completion, right? The easiest way to get your quarterback in rhythm is to allow them to see the receiver catch the ball. Right there, two high percentage plays as they're getting closer and closer to midfield. That's what they need to do so they can start putting drives together. It's a a, a miracle right now that they're only down by eight. Yeah, a message from their head coach. Todd Thompson was to really just calm down, settle in a little bit. They, they're trying to get over the midfield line for a first down, and they got it. That's Devin Patman with the catch. 
And that's exactly what they have to do. It's not like they're down by three scores. Right now, if they score a touchdown, get a two-point conversion, they're back in this exactly where they want to be. So I love the way that the coach is coming out and allow them to play high percentage instead of just taking shots down the field. They're really not on with the deep ball at this point. Team on defense right now, the 507 Devils are the defending champs. <laughs> Close one. Right over her fingers, Lily Mayo can't make the catch there. And Robert, you brought this up before, but because without their main quarterback, we're having to see them really huddle up after every play almost. Exactly. I think it's slowing the game down for them. It's giving them a little bit more understanding with all the concepts that they're going to try to be running. Oh. Lily Mayo, what a catch. And that's good for a touchdown. Six points there. Of course, if they want to get the extra point, we'll have to wait and see and make sure that's good. Look at this arm strength right there from Macy Johnson. Lily Mayo said it's Mayo, not Mayo. <laughs> okay. They did pull a flag during that catch, but that's why they're going to have another opportunity here. So third and goal. They have to score on this one right here. And they do it. They get the touchdown. Lily Mayo with some great catches on that drive. All right, they did indeed get the touchdown. And you talk about Lily Mayo. As you see here, there's the flagpole. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so look at that. Yep. Now we're gonna look. We'll, we'll look at that again. Nope. Nope. It was good. Oh, so eight to seven is our score. So we Look see a that. change of possession. NFL script writers are affecting flag football, too. <laughs> it's all right. There we go. <laughs> and now we'll see how the 507 Devils respond here. This lead is very tight, a lot tighter than it was in the first half, obviously, with the Predators able to score. Oh, my. Nice little nice high-low catch there, right there from Andrea Castillo. Yeah, Laura, that was a nice high-low concept. Restrepo is really seeing the field extremely well, giving catchable balls to these girls down the field, and they're going to take their time. They're, also, let me jump back in here. It was not a touchdown. Now they're taking the touchdown off the board. We saw the oh, flag pull. Wow. Okay, so we got a little drama here, Robert. So what you're saying <laughs> is that the refs here could learn, yeah. could, are teaching NFL refs a thing <laughs> or two go. about how that to get the right the call. Oh. oh, interception. Macy Johnson, who is a quarterback but also plays linebacker. There you <laughs> she go. She had a nice pick there for the Apex Predators. All right, so. They don't get the touchdown they thought they did. Right. There was the flagpole there, but now an opportunity with a change in possession here, Robert. Yeah, well, I think it was pretty simple. Macy Silly Johnson player. was upset that they didn't get the touchdown <laughs> said, right there. So she said, let me take care of this real quick on defense. <laughs> oh, I love it. It is interesting how the 507 Devils have been able to defend some of the big targets for the Predators. Marley Spielberg with the catch there, number four. Yeah, they have. You know, you talk about uh, Lily Mayo, who's who made a couple plays there mm -hmm. on the last drive. Marley Spielberg, who's on the national team. They've really been pretty quiet. Now, the second half, they're starting to get things rolling a little bit more. they got to continue to do that. A couple flag pulls there for Lily Mayo in that last drive. We'll see. Oop. And once again, a flag pull. Marian Torero continues Ooh. to be a force to be reckoned with on defense for the 507 Devils. Oh, my. Marian Torero, Russian just barely gets the flag but hey that'll do now if you're the apex predators third and goal you got to score a touchdown right here do Saw not the face there from macy johnson when she got that flag oh, so upset i know the feeling macy i, I know, know the right can they do it oh, oh bobbled catch there by cheese mckinnis you know she wishes she could have come up with that one Again, Robert, you said it. They only have, once they pass midfield, three plays to score a touchdown. Yeah, and that's a really nice play by Anna Murillo to knock that ball down. Cheese thought she had it, but those two sacks we've seen so far by Marianne Torero have come up big. Laura Restrepo and the 507 Devils on offense once again, and Alejandro Sucre with the catch. And if you're the 507 Devils, you're doing everything you possibly can to stretch out this play clock and not try to give the ball back 
to the Apex Predators, or if you do, give them very limited time. It feels like the 507 Devils would have a larger lead with the way that they've played, but as we saw before, even though touchdown didn't count, it only takes a quick play to get back in this thing. Yeah, a run does. there from Alejandro Sucre. They got right, the first yeah. down, they got three plays here, Robert. Exactly, Laura. Second and mid, now they're past the half mid point line. They got three plays to score a touchdown. I mean, they could put the game on ice by getting in the end zone here, or they can continue to run the clock down and try to play high percentage football. I personally would uh, would go for the jugular here, try to score this touchdown and put the game out of reach. You may see the number sevens on the faces of some of these players. Every player on the Apex Predator has a seven on their face in honor of Ashari Hughes. She died after collapsing during a high school flag football game on January 5th. A big catch there, but we'll continue telling this story. She died from a congenital heart condition three days after Damar Hamlin collapsed. Hughes doesn't play for Apex, but all the girls know her and were on the same high school team. Uh, the head coach of the Apex Predators is the head coach there. Just an amazing gesture to see them honoring Ashari Hughes. Yeah, and you know the Apex Predators, they want to honor Ashari Hughes by, by winning this matchup. But I think just the fact that they have worn that seven on their face all weekend, showing the entire flag football community how together they are is a big thing. We, we all saw how the, co the country came together for DeMar Hamlin in his time of need. To see these girls doing the same thing uh, for Ashari Hughes is truly impactful. Thinking of Ashari and her family. As you see right here, 507 Devils once again in scoring range, Robert. Ooh, tip mm -hmm. pass there. J.J. Howes. She says, not so fast. We're not going to let you score again if we can help it. As we talked about, J.J. Howes, the one that cut off her finger and it grew back. <laughs> it might have grown back a which little longer. Which one is longer. it? I don't know which one it is, but she's tipping everything out here. So you're going to need another play like that from J.J. Howes, and maybe they can tip it and actually pick it and run it back. That seems to be their best uh, option to yeah. score right now. Their defense has had some nice plays. Uh, if that happens, we'll call you Nostradamus. Oh, oh, look at that here. interception by Marley Spielberg. Ooh, it comes down to Flag this. Flag pull. She had to be stopped in her track, but you did call the pick. Hey, listen, she got stopped, but I don't know, man. All I see is eyes on the ball. Nice. That's the pick. way you play DB. You see that brace on her knees because she's coming off of an ACL. So for her to be out here playing right now, the way that she is, is truly awesome. Also had an ankle injury, too. It's Another opportunity here for the Apex Predators and Cheese McKinnis with the catch. Well, now they got to get in this huddle and get out. Time's winding down. We got a minute 44 seconds left in this game. It's second. I mean, it all comes down to this, Robert. They got to score right here. They got to score right and here. And then go for two. Exactly. Ooh, the drama of NFL flag football. You got to love Let's it. Let's go. Catch by Marley Spielberg. She, she's been a nice target there, but there was a flag pull from Lucia Earl, the linebacker. Laura, it's been the biggest uh, adjustment that they've made since halftime is not just trying to take the deep shots down the field, but getting Marley Spielberg more involved with some mm. of these short passes. I agree. See the rush. Oh, that would have been it right there. Target. Denise Guerra with the breakup and Lily Mayo not able to come down with that catch. Huge breakup there by Denise Guerra. Lily Mayo thought she was going to hit her head on the proverbial goalpost there in the end zone. This just... is for the game, Robert, right here. If they can get this first down, they've got three more plays to score a touchdown. So it all comes down to this. We'll see what the Apex Predators can do. The team from Vegas trying to win it all. Too long. The pass just a bit too much. Lily Mayo not able to get there, and she knows it. You know, they went for the deep shot right there when they potentially had someone open right in the middle of the field, but I understand it. Macy Johnson is going out there trying to win this game for her team. They did an amazing job getting to this point. I'm just uh, so happy, Laura, that we've been able to celebrate all these young ladies today. What an amazing win. Once again, the defending champs go back to back. The LFFL 507 Devils are the flag 
football champions to the U-17 girls. Congratulations to the team from Panama. And Susie, we'll send it back to you as we've had a whole lot of fun celebrating the game over here.